the guard hid behind the door and peeped through it to spy on the princess in her bath. However, the next moment, the princess put a knife to his neck. Please, I beg you. What were you doing with her hand before you used it to sell you my dress? Caught in the act of voyeurism, the guard can only keep pleading for the princess's forgiveness and expressing his sincere love for her. Morgan then asked him, with interest, how he would prove his love. I'll do anything. Anything. Come with me. In fact, Morgan soon found an opportunity to take advantage of the guard. She set up a sham banquet and invited her half-brother, King Arthur, to her castle. Though she and King Arthur were at war over the throne, Morgan knows that her brother, a bastard, is desperate for family, so he will accept her invitation. Everything goes as Morgan expects, and King Arthur makes his way to her appointment in the hope that he will be able to bury the hatchet with her, although magician Merlin is still wary of her.